Good morning. I'm camping on the north shore of a lock I can't pronounce the name of, just north of Inverpolly Forest. There's a storm forecast to come in. I think it might have come in a little bit early because the wind has really picked up. It was a real, real challenge to pitch the tent last night. The ground is so bumpy. There are so many tussocks of grass. It was, it was hard to cinch the tent down really flat to the ground. I just had one of the pegs come loose and I just had to go around and frantically cling on to it while it while it threatened to whip away over the mountain. Wind seems to have died down or, or I seem to have done a good enough job for the moment. It didn't help that I didn't bring enough tent pegs for the guide ropes. That would have um, would have been useful with high wind conditions. I'm deciding what to do. I'm, I'm not going to go back to sleep. It was hard enough sleeping last night what with the wind starting to pick up and the rutting deer roaring all around. Really didn't fancy Astro last night. It was, it was so windy. I was just focused on getting food cooked and, and getting, the, getting camp set up. I don't think I'm going to stick around here. I might go and do some Astro on the walk back to the car. It's about three hours until sunrise, so it seems a long time to sit around clapping my hands and jumping up and down to keep warm waiting for sunrise here, but I'll have a think about it as I pack up the tent and get ready for my hike back to the car. I'm not looking forward to getting out of this sleeping bag again. So after a stormy night and not much sleep because of my naff pitching of the tent, I want nothing more than to get back to the car and get to civilization and refresh myself. But exploring this area is what I came for. I just wandered down to the shore from where I was taking photos um, to see whether there were any nice trees and I discovered this fantastic one. I'm focus stacking and Contrary to my usual preference, I'm actually doing quite a fast shutter speed. Usually I blur out water with a longer shutter speed, but for one, I don't have my ND filter. And two, there are these birches in the background are shedding their leaves and, it, and they're pooling around the edge of the water. Occasionally the wind dislodges them and you get flows of these birch leaves going past the tree and creating nice kind of tendril patterns. Um, and that looked quite Monet when I had a moderately slow shutter speed, but actually it looks much better sharp, although I don't like choppy water generally. Um, on this occasion, I think um, my preference is to have those, um, those floating leaves um, tack sharp. So I've gone up to a one over a hundred um, shutter speed. And I'm focus stacking, so F14, um, I focused on the foreground, I focused on the tree, both the foreground and the tree are tack sharp, although I'm having to shoot at ISO 1000 or so to, to get the, the shutter speed I need. And then I'm waiting <laughs> for stack poly to, um, to emerge from the clouds, and it's doing so now, so I'm just going to fire off a shot. So, ah, it's gone back behind again. It was so clear earlier. But after that, I think I've um, earned my 
return to warmth and comfort. Uh, what a contrast today is to yesterday. If you see my previous episode, it was uh, sunny blue skies, not great for photography. This spot just here is a perfect camp spot. It's flat, it's dry. It's a little bit more sheltered than mine was from the wind, but more importantly, I would have been able to pitch my tent flat uh, and would have avoided the, the uh, flapping monstrosity that I had to sleep in last night. Anyway, I think that's it for me. I'm going to head back to Loch Inver after this. I've heard there's a fantastic pie shop there, so I'm looking forward to partaking in that. I haven't cooked any food this morning because it's been too windy to start the ethanol stove, so I'm hungry. Chocolate does not suffice. This day was the low point of the trip. I was absolutely exhausted after two hours broken sleep on the mountain. I was fuming about my 24 to 70, which I had tanked the day before, and the wind was making things impossible to shoot. What's more than that, when I got to Loch Inver to freshen up, I discovered a tick had picked me as its next meal. Creepy little bastard. I had Lyme's disease a few years ago, and I'm quite wary of repeating the experience. After getting some lunch, I explored around Loch Assynt for a few hours, but the wind and my lack of lens choice was making my favoured minimalist long exposure photography difficult. By now exhaustion had overtaken me and I was making poor choices, and I eventually decided to turn in for the night to get some proper rest. I've had to chalk up this day and the hike to Loch Shanaskeg as scouting missions, first encounters with a landscape that I want to explore more. The composition from this area in 2022 was one of my favourites of the trip, although the conditions on this day in autumn 2023 were not dissimilar. Apathy overtook me while shooting the tree in the water, and I couldn't get it to work how I'd hoped. It took a lot of playing with the colour contrast to create enough separation of the different elements to make it even close to presentable. If I had waited another 20 minutes, the sun would have broken through and created some beautiful light. I could of course take another pass at the edit, but honestly, I think the composition is slightly off. Instead, I'll return to this scene again before too long. Perhaps later in the autumn, when the leaves are turned even more orange, or on an icy day. That would work well too. Storm Babette came in with a vengeance during the night, and the car was getting buffeted so much that I had to move camp from near Loch Assynt to somewhere more sheltered. I still got some good night's rest, but conditions did not improve for photography the next day. I tried my luck anyway. Please join me again next week to see how that went. If you like this video, please subscribe to follow the rest of the trip. New episodes are released 10am on Saturdays. I'll see you there.